So, me and Luke just broke up. No, I'm just playing with you. I'm just playing with you. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to scare you like that. I just had to do it. I had to do it. I'm I'm crying because I'm a baby. We did not break up. He is actually going to a trade show this weekend, so he's going to a convention down in Orlando, and I couldn't go because I had to stay and watch the dogs, so he is going to go and have fun, and we're going to do a Life Alone vlog. <laughs> No sleep while things run dry I'm empty I can't see I'm blinded by this concrete And I should call you See what you've been up to I've been wondering How far did you go in seven months? incredibly sore since I've switched up and done a new workout routine since we're doing home workouts so my body it just needs like a good stretch sesh so that's what I'm gonna do and I'm gonna drink my electrolytes while doing so also if you like these cups that I have and would like to get them I will provide you with a link down in the description look at that color it's so vibrant this is like one of my favorite flavors, this is Berry Frost. This one's yummy.
I got sweatier than I expected. My headstands are trash. Those are so hard to do. My balance is awful. I wanna keep on working at those because those are something that I really wanna get in 2024. This guy looks so strange right now. that baby girl oh she's so cute she cuddled with me all night so I'm lucky that's how they cuddle me I love them so much I love you and I love you <laughs> oh the baby girl they're so cute whenever you're groomed you know that legging curls again last night let's see if they actually turn out good this time I did breakfast I've made the bed I've done my vitamins so now I'm getting ready for work oh this one turned out good I did it with dry hair instead of damp hair that's the key look at that I did not sleep good whatsoever last night. I think it was because my person wasn't there to keep me warm and safe. So, I mean, I had the dogs, they cuddled me, but like they were on alert too, looking for Luke. So, I don't know, I just couldn't fall asleep very well. So hopefully I'm not dragging today. But I love these curls. I can't believe they turned out this good. Look at that. Oh yes, I've mastered it. I am definitely feeling myself in these curls. I haven't had curly hair in a while and it's growing on me. I wanted to show you my cute little fitty that I have. I have this green little jumpsuit on from Amazon. So if you would like to match me, it will be linked down below in the description. In your own opinion, which one do you like more? Curly or straight hair? Comment down below. Coffee, check. Mm, this is my favorite part of morning routine. Bye, Bubba's. I'll see you after work. I love you. I just got off of work and I came home with so many gifts. It was crazy. I got to my desk today and I had this little gift sitting there for me and it was so sweet. Ashley, she's my coworker, but I refer to her as my sister because we've known each other for so long and she's basically like my older sister. She got everybody in the office these little Easter baskets, even though it's like a month before Easter. She just wanted to do something sweet for everybody. So she got us these little gifts. And then she also made us homemade sushi. I got some pictures of it like whenever it first got made. I'll throw them in, but like today was so nice. I had so many little gifts. I also had this at my desk. It was just dropped off because they were giving away to church or something like that. And so I don't know how I got it, but <laughs> hot cocoa kettle corn from Skinny Pop. Um this will be on before Luke gets home, probably. <laughs> she was so sweet and like thought about me so much. She literally went through and got like the healthiest things that she could find. Like this is no bad ingredients in it. It's all natural. And then she also got me like Smart Sweet lollipops. I didn't even know they made lollipops. Smart Sweets are my favorite candy because they're a healthier version of candy. So, Smart Sweets are a great candy alternative. They taste amazing and their ingredients aren't too bad. They're one of my favorite candies because. 
because of the good ingredients. Ugh. Oh my freaking goodness. So do you see this? This was supposed to be like this. There was no way the dogs could get through this. This is how I barricade our couch off so Loki doesn't get on the couch. Um, he got smart and opened this up just enough to where he could fit through there and get on his perch right there. So, I realized that the gate was open and I was like, um, no, I don't trust him. So, I went back and looked at the ring camera. This boy was on and off his perch all freaking day. All day. He jumped off the couch multiple times, which he's not supposed to do. I'm, I'm so stressed right now. Bro. Bro. You're not going to do that. You're not supposed to do that. No. Oh, kind of like Kizzy. You're not supposed to be jumping off and stuff. You're going to hurt your back, you old man now. It's all day too. Like, he had to, he's so smart. He had to have opened it up like as soon as, it was karma. It was karma, she just did it. She was opening it. You're the culprit. You let your brother on that couch, didn't you? Okay, quads and calves are on the agenda for today, so. I need to get into active wear. I'm really procrastinating right now because I'm kind of tired and I don't want to do anything. I really just want to sit and chill with the dogs, but I will do that after I move my body. It's only a couple of movements. We got to get it done. I went with an all black set for the workout today. I don't know. I'm kind of in my neutrals era. Are you like a neutrals person or like a colorful person? I feel like I'm a mixture of both. It just really depends on my mood. I don't want to work out if you can tell I'm about to die so I wore all black. I don't like doing quads. I'm a booties and shoulder kind of girl. I need to lock up, I need to step back. Every day see so many people doing the things you do And they're doing it better too whoa, whoa. It's like why should I even try When there's always some other guy Who's way ahead of you But makes it look easy Why would they need me? Oh I hear it now I'm just being needy I try not to envy you To get angry you Do it better Oh my gosh, it's literally blue skies. It's so beautiful. He's trying to run. Literally sunny and 75. I can't look at these palm trees, the clouds behind it. The dogs are so happy. Babies are so happy to be outside of the house right now and it feels so good, the sun's shining. Before living in Florida, I lived in Louisiana and where we lived, there was absolutely like no water access. You had to like drive to a lake. So me and the dogs want to go look at the ocean just because we're very thankful to live by the water. Not everyone gets to wake up or go outside their door and walk out to these types of views. So I'm just very grateful to live by the water. Before leaving work, I was talking to my dad and he was like, wow, I've never had like a weekend to myself in a while. What are you going to do? And I was like, 
Honestly, I don't know, but I'm gonna enjoy it. Like, yes, it sucks that Luke's not here. It's very quiet and I miss him a lot. But yeah, it is kind of fun to spend time with yourself, I guess. Look at that little Mel. You're so cute. Good morning. It is 6.53 a.m. and it's Saturday today. Let's do like a little recap of what I did last night since I didn't film anything. Whenever I got done working out, me and Luke were just missing each other, so we basically FaceTimed from like the time I got done till the time I went to bed. So I really didn't do anything. I didn't pick up my camera because there was nothing really to film. We were just enjoying each other's time, talking, I ate dinner, that kind of thing. And then this morning I have my AG1 here that I am sipping on. I also have a prebiotic soda in here just to make the flavor a little bit better, but also to get my prebiotics in. I am on the computer right now up in the office because I had a little mishap with the vlog that I was uploading yesterday. I had uploaded the full vlog like two days ago and whenever I went to go watch it back, I realized that there were boxes with the dresses on our counter, so I had to go back through and blur those, so that was really, it was like, I, I, I just got so upset with it because like it's a 52 minute vlog. It's a full movie that I uploaded and it takes a while for that to upload, so I had to re-export, re-upload, put all the information back in there, it is just... It was a lot, but I have it where I need it right now, and I'm uploading this vlog, so if you're watching this one that we're doing right now, the one that I'm talking about would have been two weeks ago, I think it's the home vlog that I did, The Productive Home Life. If you haven't seen that one, go see that one. I basically uploaded a full movie to YouTube. I asked you guys if you like longer or shorter vlogs, and everybody said longer, so like, I was like, let's give them a movie. <laughs> okay, I have that. Scheduled to post. Now I need to go make some brekkie for me and the dogs. My baby fork, it's so cute. I'm eating avocado toast, my usual, but I will say that eating it with a fork kind of romanticizes it and fan fancifies it. Is that the right word? Fancifies it? <laughs> I don't know. I just enjoy it more whenever I can like get a bite and like, I, I'm a weirdo. I don't know, but this is brekkie. This is my typical breakfast all the time. It's two eggs, one egg white, avocado toast, and Ezekiel bread. I was also snacking on a couple of grapes just to get some fruit in. But I'm so ready for my coffee. I've been good. I've been a good girl. I have eaten breakfast before coffee ever since I told you in the vlog two vlogs back, I think. Eating breakfast before coffee has changed the game for me. I'm the fancy boy. I'm the fancy boy. I'm the fancy boy. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Leave karma. Leave it.
productive princess. I I did the dishes, I wiped down all the countertops, I I vacuumed the couch, I I put a load of laundry on, I cleaned the stove. I did I did a lot of stuff within that last two hours. It's only like 10 a.m. right now. It's not even 12 o'clock yet and I've done so much and it feels so good. So um, I'm gonna head over to the bedroom now, clean that up, and then that should be all the cleaning for the day. Okay, I don't think I ever followed up with you guys about my rash that was in a couple of vlogs back. They said it was contact dermatitis, which it totally could have been, but I had a different theory. Thinking was it was on my arm right here, right here, right here on my wrist, right here on my wrist. It was on this hand, on this arm. At one point it was on my face and I was like, I haven't changed soap, so like why the heck am I breaking out in this rash? It was so itchy too. I figured out what it was. Let me show you. Do you see this bracelet? So this is the bracelet I got me and Luke whenever we first started dating. I've had this on me for almost three years now two and a half I would say but it I've, I haven't taken it off it was like permanent jewelry the reason why I had it on me was because it's the coordinates of where me and Luke met so it was really sentimental to me and I wanted to leave it on for as long as I could but the gold started tarnishing because I would like shower with it so I think because it was starting to tarnish I was breaking out in a rash from having the bracelet on me so once I took this off, my rash kind of cleared up and I was like, that's what it was. But now I'm sad because I can't wear my bracelet anymore. So I'm going to have to get a new one. For my mid workout drink I guess you could call it I'm doing the Pedialyte with immune support in this there is zinc which builds new immune cells vitamin C which promotes cell health vitamin B12 which helps activate activate helps to activate immune cells and vitamin E to support cell membrane so I just poured that in my water and it's mixed berry flavor look at that color they're so cute in the same bed together put all your stuff away and check out for the day there's no time to waste when it's 100 degrees burns under my feet won't you have a drink with me at the end of that 
and it whipped my booty. Holy, I like adding finishers to my, to the end of my workouts because it just like, you give it your all at the end and you're completely pooped and done by the time the workout's over with and it makes you feel really accomplished. I've done everything that I wanted to do today. So now I think I'm gonna treat myself to go into the beach. That sounds like fun. I haven't made it to the beach yet because I decided to take the dogs for a walk because I wanted to get them out of the house before I left them here. And also I needed to make lunch. So I have some salmon with some bell peppers and Primal Kitchen's Buffalo Ranch. That sauce is my new favorite sauce. I also had a couple bites of Publix Mild Salsa with the lime um, CSA chips. While I was cooking this, I just laid on the floor and dissociated for like 10 minutes because my back was really hurting me. I think my back has been irritated these last couple of weeks from picking up Loki and traveling. Also sleeping in different beds. My back is just a little out of whack. Even the chiropractor said I'm really jammed up. So I don't know why, but I was having some lower back pain. So I kind of just laid on the floor, did some like stretching and some bridges and stuff like that because that seems to be the only thing that like fixes my back pain is whenever I do like hip openers, uh, like I guess knee holds and then bridges that seems to help. I don't do like a workout, no, I just do it like a couple times until I feel like the back pain is eased. So now that my back is feeling a little bit better, I think I need to get my booty outside and go have some fun in the sun. We stand on the opposite shore. Hello, Ramona. I reach through oh, mysterious so ceilings. My home, so home. I look for the things I don't know. That just was not it. I was probably out there for only 30 minutes. Me and another couple walked up at the same time and we literally left at the same time because the wind was just atrocious. The sand was like beating in my eyes and beating at my lens, which was not good for my camera, but also not good for my eyes. So I was just like fed up with it. I was like, you're beautiful beach, but uh, the wind is not right now. So my eyes probably look really tired. and I probably have like mascara everywhere because I was literally like crying out there. My eyes were watering so bad. Also, not to mention my hair. I put a coconut oil and lemon juice hair mask in my hair so I could get like some good sunshine highlights from the lemon juice. And then I put the coconut oil in there to like hydrate my hair. And whenever I was putting it in, I accidentally poured it in my eye. So I got lemon juice and coconut oil in my eye. 
it burned very, very badly. So my eyes were crying then, they were crying out there. So I'm sure I just cried off all my makeup and I'm sure I look pretty rough right now, but um, I got a call from Luke and I'm super excited because he left early. So he's gonna get home tonight at eight o'clock and I cannot wait to see him. Just got my shower, washed out my hair mask, did my skincare, sipping on the poppy that I mixed with my AG1 this morning. A couple more hours and I'll get to see him. Distance definitely makes the heart grow fonder. I already don't like that I can't spend 24 seven with Luke because of like work and stuff like that. I wish I could spend every waking moment with him. He's so funny and just such a light and joy to be around. I love him so much already and, and having this distance apart just reminds me of that and solidifies that and, and it also makes me more appreciative of him and cherish every moment that we have together. So I'm so excited to see him tonight. I am going to make the bed for him. I told him that I wasn't going to. He wanted me to put the duvet on the comforter and I told him no. Like I've cleaned so much today like I'm not doing that. So whenever he gets home, it's going to be made and like ready. He said he wanted to sleep on a fresh bed. So I'm going to do that and probably end the vlog here. I hope you enjoyed this Life Alone vlog. If you did, let me know what your favorite part was in the comments below. And I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye!